televizor astăzi. Um, ambasadorul Israelului vorbind nu doar despre faptul că se așteaptă ca acest conflict să dureze mai multe săptămâni, ce vreau să vă spun e că um, războiul de Yom Kippur de acum 50 de ani a durat două săptămâni și tot a fost cel mai crâncen din istoria Israelului. Deci câteva săptămâni înseamnă practic Cred că nici nu ne putem gândi uh, ce distrugere înseamnă acolo, dar uh, veți vedea și ce spune și despre faptul că uh, nu au știut, uh, nu au știut uh, serviciile israeliene ce urmează să întâmple. Everyone was asking how this attack was possible. Did the intelligence had any information? Well, apparently there wasn't a, enough information uh, as a, and uh, as a result of that uh, we we have suffered uh, colossal uh, damage. Um, but right now what we have to do is to concentrate in uh, defending ourselves, in attacking our enemies, and we'll have to draw the lessons of what uh, happened to us uh, in the future. But right now, uh, the Israeli security forces, the Israeli government, the citizens of Israel uh, are uh, concentrating in being resilient, are concentrating in uh, containing the situation and in... Um, in attacking our enemies in order to neutralize the threat. Benjamin Netanyahu proposed a government of coalition. Will Israel have one? Well, it's early to say. I think that uh, in moments like that, uh, all the citizens of Israel come together. Um, maybe Hamas or our enemies thought that uh, they can uh, split the people of Israel. But I think that especially in times like that, uh, like this, everybody comes together. Uh, is this a sign that your country is preparing for a long-term war? This effort will take time, there's no doubt. This is not something that you solve in one day. Lately, we've seen a lot of negotiations with the Muslim state, especially, especially Saudi Arabia, and um, the final point was the recognition of the state of Israel. I'd like to ask you if this attack jeopardized the negotiations. Well, I don't know, it's too early to say. I think uh, it might be even the contrary. Uh, what we are seeing right now and all the world is seeing is what are the dangers when you don't cooperate against such terrible terrorist fanatic Islamic forces. So we see that Iran and their proxies are doing terrible things to the world. They are supplying the most dangerous weapons that are hurting people not only in the Middle East but also in Europe. Um, and everybody understands what are the dangers and therefore actually this attack by Hamas, I think, is only going to bring those who have a common interest to establish peace and to cooperate and to create prosperity much more closer. Can, uh, can it be any similarity between what happens in your country and what happens in Ukraine, for example, a long-term war? In the area of the Middle East, in which uh, you have uh, terrible fanaticism, and actually the forces uh, of the fanatics are trying to destroy, they actually managed already to uh, destroy several countries in the region. Israel is not going to allow uh, these forces to, uh, to destroy the state of Israel. We are going to defend ourselves. Uh, it might take time, but I'm, I'm sure this will not take years. It will take uh, weeks and maybe more, but uh, we will remove this.